Welcome everybody to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean your honeycomb bed. You'll notice over time, after cutting various different woods, uh, you'll start to see some buildup and some gunk on your laser bed, and it's just a little unwanted, so it's nice to do some maintenance once in a while and just clean off that bed uh, and get it to as new condition as you can get it. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you a couple different things I use to clean it right up. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So first things first, let's go ahead and pull this bed out and uh, we'll get started. So what works wonders for me is the Zep Industrial Purple Degreaser. Um, this stuff makes it really, really easy to actually get that gunk out uh, with minimal effort required. So what you wanna do is give your bed a thorough spraying. Uh, make sure you're turning the bed and getting it from all angles. So now that you're gonna spray down, go ahead and pull out a hose of some sort. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of rinse it a little bit. And what this does is activates that cleaner uh, and you'll see the foam start to build up right there. So uh, you wanna make sure that you're as effective as possible and by spraying it and turning it to foam, um, it's really getting inside the pockets of that honeycomb bed. So as you can see, uh, the bed has a nice layer of foam all around it. So let's go ahead and let that sit for the next 10 minutes or so. So now it's been setting for 10 minutes. What I wanna do is go ahead and give it a rinse off. Um, for this one, I'm just gonna bring out my pressure washer, but you can do it with a normal hose and you'll see zoomed in, it's already taken off that gunk pretty easy. Um, so this stuff really does work, it's effective. I think I could have done a little bit longer than 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is repeat the process here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down again, make sure it's all bubbly. And then I'm gonna go back to my hose and give it another spray down. So this method should clear up the rest of it. Um, if you have any problematic holes, I wanna show you a couple options you have out here. Uh, the first one's gonna be nylon pipe cleaners or nylon brushes. Um, these ones work great because they can get right inside those honeycomb holes. Um, what I like to do is I just tighten it up inside my drill and this will give me a little more torque, a little speed. Uh, and what I could do is just zip it right in there and I'll scrub the inside real nice. Uh, it'll take up some of that gunk that just doesn't seem to wanna budge. Uh, just by using the solution. Um, you can also use Q-tips if you don't find access to the nylon pipe cleaner. I don't really recommend it. Um, you can only get a couple holes per Q-tip, but if you're in a bind, this is a great solution. So with a combination of the Q-tip, the nylon scrub brush, and the Zep Industrial Purple degreaser, you could see that I brought my bed back to life. It does look a thousand times better Prior to starting this, I had gunk build up uh, in every single honeycomb pocket. And as you can see right here, we have fantastic results with about 20 to 30 minutes worth of work.